can it function UVK5 receive signals from an amateur satellite more than a thousand kilometers away keep watching and find out I know what you're thinking of course it can I've already done videos showing bow things receiving and communicating with low earth orbiting satellites but in this video I'll try a different satellite RS44 it has a linear transponder which means that instead of repeating just one FM channel it can repeat a whole band of signals meaning that you can transmit SSB and other modes through it and it can support multiple conversations not only that but it's got a CW beacon which is what I will be trying to receive I think the satellite has an output power of around 5 watts and it's also a higher orbit than the low earth orbiting satellites still very elliptical orbit but in this case we're looking at distances of over a thousand kilometers um, just looking at it here a perigree of 1175 and an apogee of 1511 kilometers so it's a longer distance it's low power and I'll be using the double sideband function of the Kwangsheng to actually receive the CW signal from the RS-44 satellite. You might have just heard some CW there. That is RS44. And in case you're wondering, I'm standing in my carport as it's raining outside and trying to receive some satellite signals. This has been an interesting test. It shows that we can certainly receive signals from the satellite. And with another UV5, you'd probably be wanting two transceivers. It may be possible to have at least CW communication via the RS-44 satellite. If anyone's tried it, then please let me know. Alternatively, if you have another transceiver, like a Yaesu FT817, you might use that as the receiver as it's slightly better, and the UVK5 as the transmitter. The Kwangsheng UVK5 has been quite an amazing transceiver. Very, very versatile with a lot of things you can do with it. Certainly great value for money for its $50 or so that it costs me. For more information, if you want to get one of these for yourself, then I've got a link in the video description. There, you'll also find information on some of the firmware that helps you get the most from this remarkable transceiver.